So my research group is interested in developing uh, the work related to artificial photosynthesis. Artificial photosynthesis is the way, the different way nature uh, transforms sunlight and CO2 into carbohydrates. And carbohydrates are basically the fuel, the chemical fuel that nature uses to grow and, and to live. So if we manage to do like nature is doing, using sunlight and transforming this sunlight into energy, this would allow us to come up with new energy conversion schemes where we could start the transition from the fossil fuels to the solar fuels. And with all the benefits that this implies from the point of view of getting rid of all this uh, warming, uh, all this CO2 uh, generating uh, gases. Photosynthesis is a very complex uh, system, so we have managed to, uh, what we are doing basically is making a simplified model of photosynthesis, and this is basically water splitting with sunlight. To do water splitting with sunlight, we basically need to develop uh, different parts of this project, which includes light harvesting. We need to understand how to pick up light from sun. We also need to understand how to do water oxidation fast. So that means that we need a catalyst to do that. And we also need to do proton reduction fast. So we need also a catalyst for proton reduction. So basically, we need light harvesting molecules. We need proton reduction catalyst and we need water oxidation catalyst. And not only this, but we also need to put all this together working in harmony. So those are basically the four goals that my research group is basically working at this point right now. So what now we are going to do is we'll try to split water in this cell. We have two cells because in one we have uh, the catalyst and the dye to do water oxidation and in the other one we have the catalyst and the dye to do proton reduction. So at the moment what we are doing is we are here we have passing nitrogen to take out all the oxygen that there is inside that we don't have interferences from the, from the atmosphere oxygen. And then what we will do is we will put this instrument here that is a Clark electrode to follow the oxygen that will above from the reaction and we will shine the light to see what happened. During the year 2013, basically, we have managed to come up with a new molecule based on cobalt, a dinuclear cobalt complex that is an extremely efficient proton reduction catalyst. We have basically developed uh, research at all fronts, but this is probably the most significant contribution we have made this year. And uh, this has been published at the Journal of American Chemical Society. With regard to the future, we are uh, continuously working in all these fronts, but mainly the most important goal that we have right now is that we want to achieve the, the device that can do all these things at the same time, generating uh, the transformation of sunlight into a hydrogen fuel. And we, have, we are at the point right now that we, all the different points have been developed to such a length that we are now in the position to be able to come up with this uh, with this new device.